launching the campaign today and basically we want to try and reach a million kids this year. Because do you remember when you were younger? Do you remember the clunk click mm. campaign? Yeah, yeah with the seatbelts, yeah. And it's one of those phrases that has stayed with me forever. And I just, we really, really want Raps Black Hat to be a phrase that all kids um, just learn at school and it's just part of their DNA. Does sun exposure worry you, Davina? Because there was a whole era, wasn't there, where people would go and lie on sunbeds. I certainly oh, was in the era, not of that. But I wanted a mahogany does. tan like George Michael, and I just used to sometimes just used to put baby oil on to try and get brown in my teens. I mean, goodness knows oh, what was I was me. doing to my skin. And I don't think I ever, ever applied sun cream when I was a little girl. I just would burn, it would all burn off, and then I'd try and get tanned again, and I'd think, Oh, well, that's my... F I mean, it, that's just the worst. But nowadays, um, we know that if a child gets burnt um, when they're young, it means that they almost double the risk of a melanoma later on in life. So it is very important that we protect our kids from UV rays. And there are those just three simple things. You know, wear a T-shirt, put the cream on, and wear a hat. And um, most, t most parents, 82% of parents, I think, want teachers to teach this at school because this is where kids spend the majority of their time and this is where and especially at this age we can really kind of just get it ingrained into just their lives yeah That's undoubtedly that. and what, what's lovely to see in that playground there Davina is all those kids running around having a fantastic time it's an amazing energy and they all look very happy and they all look very healthy but of course that's another thing as well isn't it for our schools is trying to get our kids out there and getting fit and it's it's fitness that has become a real driver for you hasn't it in the, in the sort of the last five or ten years well it's funny I never thought that I'd be known possibly more for um, health and fitness than my presenting but I got into a car the other day I gave somebody a lift and she was like oh you're that fitness lady and I thought isn't that <laughs> funny like people's perceptions but this is what I, I just want to get everybody everybody moving you know and everybody feeling better and um, yeah so fitness is really important but you know primary school kids are the best they're so full of hope and hope for the future and like possibility. Mm. I know, it's so lovely and it's so great to do it. Uh, my daughter is one of those people that we're hopeful for the future on, I guess, not always. <laughs> uh, and she's a massive fan of yours. She's picked you up on social media. She thinks you're great. She tried to get me to the gym because she says Davina's your age, which I, I'm struggling with, but I'll give it a go eventually, Davina. But, but I think one of the things we've been talking about on the show this morning is fitness apps and whether sometimes things like that oh, means yes. you can go too far. And I know you, in some of your videos and some of your fitness images have had some stick of maybe you're exercising too much, maybe you're getting too thin. What do you what do you think about that code, those kind of comments? What do you think, Kate? Oh, you look fab. Thanks. Um, no, basically, I don't think that. Um, you know, I think everybody goes to extremes, don't they? They always think like, oh my goodness, you're working out too much. In my opinion. Um, I, I honestly can't work out too much. I've got uh, three kids, I've got a day job, and I really enjoy going to the gym. I like the community thing of doing a class. I try and go three or four times a week um, if I'm lucky. In the holidays, I will try and go five days a week. <gasps> but um, it makes me feel good, and I just think it's ridiculous because saying, oh, you can get addicted to fitness, that's just going to put people off. Yeah. We want to try and get people moving and motivated. And, um, trying to sort of demonise people that are working out or doing good things with fitness is ridiculous. And I'm really, like, this idea of talking about people too thin, too fat, oh, look at you, all this judgement, forget it. Let's not pass judgments on each other. Life's too short. And I know, like, everybody does it a little bit, but I usually think if I'm being very judgy about somebody, it's usually saying something about where I'm at yeah. rather than them. Couldn't agree more, Davina. Thank you so much for Sorry. joining us this morning. Thanks for getting the kids to the playground early as well. I just thought I'd be a bit of light relief on Brexit you Day. Are. You know, like a little <laughs> bit of light Brexit relief Day, for you guys. Brexit Day, successful Davina and Day, that's what kids, we say. And remember kids, wrap flat hats. <laughs> Thank you, Davina. <laughs>